Alright, so this is my uh, air intake manifold throttle plate and body. And these are the A, E, and P. This is what I just drilled out here. And here, there were already a pre drill here and a start of a pre drill here, but there was no pipe in it. So I grabbed this one off of my other air intake here right there but this pay attention Oop, focus and do it see if I can do this come on baby well it says A, E, and P on there but it's in reverse of uh, the other so it says P, E, and A and up here it's uh, A, E, and P so now with this new one here, I've got three points when I had two, and that was to solve this. There are three hoses here, right? And they all need pressure. This is the one that I need to figure out moving it to this side, or just extending it. Whatever I need to do, I gotta figure out, because this one is gonna be over on his, this side because of what the, the changes are. I just uh, took some time to clean up the wiring today after the uh, mechanic did such a piss poor job and we ended up uh, rewiring and redoing it basically anything they touched. Uh, the thermostat down there is actually off of the Mitsubishi and I realized I needed that because it actually has a plumbing of in and out uh, from the radiator. That goes to the EGR. Um, well that is the EGR but it, it comes from the radiator and then the hoses actually go to the bottom of this unit here right here see those that's going to connect up together so we're working our way towards finishing this project like I said I just took the time to clean up the wiring we still have to situate it and uh, zip tie it a little bit but it's all wrapped and clean and put where it's supposed to be we still have to figure out the um, it's hard to see in here but that is the temperature sensor for the thermostat housing. Uh, the plug doesn't work for that for this, so I'm going to see if I can swap out the sensor from a, a clips, um, and then it'll be plug and play. I think they're the same size. It looks like it's the same size, but on mine it's on the cylinder head block rather than the thermostat housing. And uh, yeah, just got to figure out the plumbing down here. Um, where uh, this is, this is not going to be, this was just shunted like this because I didn't know what it did. And I, I, now I know i got to run the plumbing from this to my um, EGR, which I just uh, popped down in there. That's that down there. That's the EGR, and this will be the return line, and this is the feed line. I'm going to run that off of the one that goes underneath the throttle body, and then run back and into here. So it comes from here, goes to the... Um, <clears throat> The throttle pit body, whatever the hell tubing it is there, runs through it, runs through it, it goes out, goes into here, and then it goes back to the motor over here. So, yeah, a lot of little things to figure out, and, uh, and then clean it all, and then we got the timing belt kind of sorted, just need uh, cam sprockets, and then we'll see. Alright, All right. so today's lesson is air intake manifold EGR system with your throttle. So this is actually the throttle pin setup for the uh, Hyundai, Kia, Optima, and a number of other ones. But they're all set up a little different. This right here is actually uh, the setup for the EGR. And uh, the main difference between the two is actually these uh, water pipes to the Mitsubishi. Uh, I just painted these to and cleaned them, uh, which uh, coincide with these right here. They'll, that'll be part of the EGR setup that'll get water from plumbed from the thermostat housing and uh, and uh, heater um, core. And then this this is the um, temperature sensor for your thermostat. This is the one for the Hyundai Kia, and it is three wire, right? But the one for the Mitsubishi is two. So what I ended up doing was I looked at it and it recognized that it was the same size as the one that I have on the side of the 
uh, Mitsubishi uh, single overhead cam but it goes into the block rather than into the thermostat housing which is where the Hyundai Kia is. So all I did was buy, bought this sensor again for the Mitsubishi and it's plug and play and I didn't have to do anything junky with that. But running these lines and figuring out the EGR system and how this works that was difficult. Especially transitioning from this well the, this this is what I'm transitioning to back to but this is actually for the Hyundai Kia. Like I pointed out before the post P, E, and A there. Why don't I make that right side for you? Um, so if you think about this, this is where the air intake is. That's where the front of the engine is. So it's labeled P, E, and A. And then on the Mitsubishi, which if we put it in the same direction that it was a moment ago, the other one, is A, E, and P. So they reverse the two posts. So what I had to do on mine was this didn't actually have a hole, right? So I drilled and tapped this hole all the way down, and then I drilled and tapped this hole out and through so that they meet up. Little boober there, I'll fix up. But, and then I had to cut, drill in just a moment ago, this relief hole down in here that also coincides with, with in here. Because that is what this one is here. So essentially I've recreated this setup in reverse order of course because it's on this side but that doesn't really matter because it's all reversed anyways the numbers letters and everything so um so i drill out this hole drill out this hole and drilled out this hole on this guy in the reverse so you look down in there focus let's see There you go, that's, that's the main lesson, um, and oh yeah, um, this pipe and this tube, uh, I was trying to attempt to pull this out of here and realize this other places, because I just recognized that this is the overflow from the uh, EGR setup that goes to the um, gas tank, and to from the runoff of the number ones, oh here it is, right here, see this, that runs to this solenoid. So in the Hyundai Kia, this solenoid overflow runs back to the system and it goes back into the air intake manifold right here. So I have to pull them in a little different, but that's essentially what I'm creating today is I gotta cut up some, some stuff and, and drill some holes and then essentially give myself a landing for the tubes and then uh, run all of the water and EGR plumbing double check that it's all correct and then we're honestly on our way to finishing this project which is cool but my my mechanic tried to put this one this uh, I shouldn't say my mechanic because he ain't gonna be anymore um, but he tried to use this junky one that I told him I might replace at one point anyways uh, with this setup which is from the Mitsubishi and this plumbing that comes here and here um, needs to go somewhere and this doesn't have it because on, on here the setup runs in through here so those tubes these two tubes are those two tubes essentially um, and this doesn't have an inlet and an outlet for the water as well so I put up a little drawing and I took my time and I really figured it out so essentially um, this is the pipe that, that starts the fluid flow from what is the uh, off of the heater pipe, uh, heater thermostat, from the side of the block. So it goes, this is the inlet, this is the outlet. It goes from here to, I believe, this one. I gotta think, what is this way? So yeah, it goes here, and then out through here, and back to the motor. And I'll show you that all set up with the new hoses and all that, and uh, but yeah, this is EGR and try to pull, like I said, I try to pull these out, but I mean, I heated enough that it pulled the surface of the metal right here when I try to pull these out. So these clearly are welded in really, really well, so I'm going to have to figure out a new way to couple into the other air intake manifold. And uh, yeah, I mean, this little one, just like this little tip for you, if you're doing this uh, Hyundai Kia um, head swap, double-headed cam for the 4G64, uh, this 
will save you a lot of time and energy of trying to figure out, oh shit, I can't rewire that. To buy the, the, the thermostat housing sensor for the Mitsubishi Eclipse. And then it'll, it'll go right into the thermostat housing of the uh, Hyundai Kia. Because it is the same car. It is the same motor. But they did a little weird things to make it different. Which is what the difference between this and this and this and this are. And that figuring out that has been my final hurdle. And I'm almost ready to start this bad boy. And uh, you'll see. It's windy as fuck out there. So I'm not going to bring you into to work with me or anything like that. But this is just the overview. If you think about this. This is the back side. If we were looking at it, we're, we're upside down, and those are going into the air intake manifolds of the side of the cylinder head. And this is the back side against the firewall. So this is all the stuff that's all hidden back there that you got to make sense of. And that's where the EGR setup runs for the Mitsubishi. Something like... And then it had uh, this vacuum hose to here. Doom goes to the second solenoid which is where I'm running uh, my, the pressure off the, the other number two. I'm calling this number two and this number one solenoid for the uh, thermostat. It just makes it easier because in line the way that the pipes run off of here, which is to the air intake uh, throttle plug, blah, blah, blah. It basically, that's the way it is. So just keep it in mind that way. And then, of course, see, this one went to here when this was in place here. See? It all kind of meshes up. Boom, back of tube goes there. So I just got to run these lines and put all this back in now that I've, I've uh, remanufactured this into this, essentially. So wish me luck. Got a lot of little things to figure out. and uh, But yeah, this is this is the, the finish line is, is ahead. Nice pick, though. Um, and we'll see how much I can get done out here. Alright, so let's see how clear I can make this. So this is the drawing to help me figure out. So, water heater hose is where the first hose starts. It goes up to the underneath the air intake manifold. And it goes out its other side, down to the EGR, from the EGR, back to the thermostat. Let's give myself a uh, punch list. I'm really trying to do some due diligence. I might just have a final purchase list. Keep it, keep it simple. But yeah.